Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome. I'm so excited. Welcome to the Terminus Re. The current state of play between our two combatants you are perhaps well aware of. But if you are not, I shall let you know. I bring you... Millennium Stefano! He is in the pink trunks and he is playing Zerg. You know, I might overdo that just a little bit because they are kind of cool. I just, I don't want to go crazy with it. But yeah, but we'll see. We'll see how people react. And of course, the one and only in the red trunks. I bring you... TT Esports, White Raw! Oh yes, oh yes. He is spawning to the south of the Terminus Re. White Raw opening up with a very early scout right here, and look at the position of that pylon. That looks to me like a very, very likely proxy to Gateway Zealot attack on Stefano, and White Raw is able to scout initially. Nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's see how good this is and whether or not Stefano will be able to deal with it. He does have overlords going in that direction. He's got one going that way as well. He may be able to scout this. He's going to have to send a drone out to do it, though. Have a look at what White Ra is doing right here. Look at this. That's 14 supply and nothing else. This has got to be a, some kind of proxy gateway play. Nothing else would work. I would imagine he's going to save up for two, and it will be a proxy two gate into a zealot attack. Now, Terminus Re does give Stefano a little bit more room to maneuver. He does have a spawning pool coming up and the extractor. He has yet to scout this pylon, however. So we will find out as to how well he'll be able to repulse this. It is difficult. This is not, in fact... No, this is not Proxy 2 Gate. This is Forge Fast Expand. But there you go. It could have been both. It could have been both. It, to be fair, it was a little bit too far away for Proxy 2 Gate. But there you go. Forge Fast Expand right here for White Ra. Trying to gain that early economic advantage and, of course, relying on Photon Cannons to defend this expansion against any kind of early Zergling harassment. Expansion could be up right here for Stefano if White Ra will actually let it happen. Having a little bit of a nibble right here. A bit of fisticuffs going on. The drone drives him away, but only just. And there are the two Zerglings. Will they be able to catch it more to the point? I think not. He's off creep. He is the hell out of there. First Photon Cannon coming up for White Ra right here. You can see right there, that's his wall. Photon Cannon and a gateway at the front. It's very, very strong. And on Terminus 3, it also allows you to take a really easy and very, very quick third. As you can see right there, very easy to defend this area. Incredibly easy. It's a good strat for this map. Works out perfectly. Chasing him all the way. He wants that probe. He, it's just one more nibble. No! Denied! Denied, says White Ra right there. Absolutely not. Just is not going to happen. Gateway almost complete right there. And the expansion is down for Stefano a little bit. Actually, it wasn't actually late. So he must be fairly happy about that. No probe. I'm afraid not. White Ra a little bit slow off the mark right there. He's going to end up losing that probe by the looks of it. Or is he? He might. It depends if he... Oh, nicely done. Stefano takes it down. No problems there whatsoever. White Rod going in for the long game right here. That is absolutely clear. A pretty late cybernetic score is a direct result of going for that Nexus first. Forge fast expansion. Question is, will he expand to his third really, really rapidly? Stefano's sitting on a lot of money right here. I have to wonder if he will actually expand to his third. It's... Thought he was. It's a little bit indecisive right there. Thought, huh, is he going there? No, he's not. And White Ra looks to spot a expansion timing. He doesn't see one. Now, Stefano will need to expand. Bear in mind that it tends to help if you are one base ahead of your opponent if you happen to be a Zerg player. He's going to want to look for that, but of course, he doesn't want to get that scout. And there's the expansion coming in at the five and three quarter minute mark. The Fano looking in a pretty reasonable position, and that early aggression from White Ra was unpleasant. No doubt about that. However, not happening right now. This will be a longer game, and I would think Stefano will be a little bit more comfortable with that. White Ra catching him off guard. No doubt that early win, however, will have shaken Stefano up just a little bit. So that's something to bear in mind. Something to consider, folks. Remember that. It was pretty brutal, to be fair. Stefano didn't actually stand a chance in that first game, simply because of the aggressive strategy of White Ra. Going straight through to a lair right now. Stefano will be much more comfortable with that kind of tech, no doubt. Surprised to see White Ra not expand again, but it looks like he's about to just do that. There you go. I have this mutant superpower, folks. It allows me to see things one and a half seconds before they happen. I have to say it's not that useful. 
If I had Kung Fu skill, perhaps. In StarCraft, not really all that helpful. Now, what that means is that Stefano should be able to get this up much earlier than White Ra, but of course, White Ra is okay with that. We'll have a look at an economic comparison, and we can see the worker supply is in favor of Stefano, but that does always take into account Queens. So it's 40 drones to 38 probes. Not a huge difference right now. Army supply count in favor of White Ra, but to be honest, not an awful lot he can do with that at the moment. Robotics facility coming in right there. Double gateways in his base. And how much gas does he have? He actually has three. So it wouldn't surprise me maybe to see some early Colossus play. We'll find out. Especially with three bases. Trying to go for that as much as possible. White Ra does tend to favor the Colossus Death Ball with Void Ray support. Hydralisks coming up right here for Stefano. That's intriguing. Now, he does have Roach Speed coming up, but it depends. It really, really depends. If White Rock goes for Immortals, the Hydralisks should be helpful. At least much more helpful than they would be against Colossus. Problem, of course, with Hydralisks is they're a little bit squishy. They tend to be torn apart, and this may be a Roach Hydrant. In fact, it's almost certainly Roach Hydralisk. Lyle Reconstitution, that's the speed upgrade. Plus one missile attack upgrade. Spore Crawler coming up as well to spot an Observer. There is actually no Observer up yet, White... White now! Oh, White Ra, why?! <laughs> God, I should just call him Duckload Ra. I'm going to be making this mistake the entire time. The funny thing is, I don't actually have that kind of speech impediment. At least not until today. I think it's going to be casting nerves, but there you go. And there is that pretty quick robotic spay on the nine-minute mark, which is to be expected. Of course, Roach Hydralisk is not all that effective against a Colossus Death Ball. Why is it not all that effective against a Colossus Death Ball? Generally speaking, because sentries divide the Roaches from the Hydralisks very easy, and Colossus tend to brutalize Hydras. Here comes the Roach Aggression. Oh, can he cancel that Forge? Yeah. Is he going to be able to get it? He might be able to snipe this off before that goes on. It depends. Oh, he's distracted, unfortunately. If he was able to cancel that plus one weapon upgrade, that would have been critical. But he's going back in right now. The delaying tactics there by White Ra. There's the Force Field play. Trying to lock him down. The Roaches should be able to do good damage. Trying to pick off some sentries right here. Roaches have actually blocked in in the wrong direction. How much more damage can he actually do right here? Picks off another sentry. Good damage being done, but now into the arc of the Photon Cannons. He will be annihilated quite rapidly. It's real shame that he wasn't able to cancel that. Incredible shame. If he'd been able to put just a bit more pressure on, he could have stopped that plus one attack upgrade, and he could have had an upgrade advantage against his opponent, White Rock. Can I just point out the excellent creep spread of Stefano right here? Look at the amount of mobility he's going to gain from this. Stefano, known for his fantastic creep spread. Oh, no, the Duke Nukem Forever logo. How dare you? It's terrible. Roach Burrow coming in, and a Spire on its way. Now, the question is how much information has Stefano been able to glean? He does not, as far as I'm aware. In fact, I am almost certain of it. He does not know about that. He's now going for his fourth expansion. This, again, this Roach Hydralisk combination is going to be torn up by White Ra's Death Ball of Colossus Sentry Stalker. Very, very dangerous, especially with the upgrade count coming in right here. White Ra looking for plus two ground attack weapons and extended thermal lance range. Primarily Roaches on the field for Stefano right now. The army count is in favor of White Ra as a result of that Colossus. Worker supply count for Stefano is looking good, but bear in mind there's a lot of queens. There's three queens there, 64 drones to 66 probes. White Ra does have an advantage in that regard. Now White Ra pushing out with a single Colossus. Now, where are those Hydralisks? He has nine on the field. Does he have enough sentries to divide the Roach and Hydra? I would think so. Does he have the extended... Yes, he does. This is going to be a dangerous engagement one way or the other. White Ra does not have a critical mass of Colossi up. He does have a second one on the way, as you can see. It's going to depend entirely on where Stefano is able to engage. That ground armor is coming up as well. That will help quite a bit against the Colossus. Doing a little bit of sniping damage. There's the divide. He's able to get a reasonable range on. Still damage coming in, but the second Colossus coming in right now. One Colossus picked off. Reinforcements on the way. He does have Corruptors as well. Colossus stopping through his own force fields. Those force fields are not dividing up Stefano too badly. A couple of Hydralisks divided there. Army count is falling rapidly. Colossus is down. Unfortunately, I don't think Stefano's got the firepower. The Stalker's able to clean up right here. And this fourth base, third expansion, is under grave threat. Lots of Zerglings coming out, and not too many sentries, and no energy on them either. Those Corruptors, unfortunately, will not prove to be useful at all. An additional warping of Stalkers coming in right here for White Ra. A smart maneuver, not bringing in more Colossus. More Roaches coming in. Here come the Hydras as well. Look for the Zerglings. That's that hatchery is probably going to go down. It is bleeding on red health right now. As you can clearly see, Stefano getting flanked. Another Colossus on the way. He needs to get that Colossus out immediately. 
There's the surround on that one right now. Does he have the firepower? It's looking very unlikely that he picks it off. Army supply count is fairly equal right now. The problem is that a lot of it is corruptors, and that's no use against those stalkers. Zerglings trying to drive their way through right here. There's the corruption debuff as well to try and help him out, but he's still not got the firepower. 12 more roaches on the way right here to see if he can clear this up. Hatchery is down. Stefano is not out yet. He's going to need more roaches to deal with this, however. He's got more on the way. The upgrade count is in favor of White Rye. He's got plus two attack. That's really not going to help. That gives a mas nasty, nasty buzz. Boost? Bust? I have no idea. A nasty bust, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, that's a bit of a Freudian slip going on right there. I would like to see your nasty bust right now. Stefano, get in there and do some damage. He can't. Not right now. It's a little bit dicey. He doesn't have what he needs. He does have spine crawlers up right here, though. This base is going to be hard to assault right now. Overseer on the way up. Stefano looking for a flank. He doesn't really have too much of an upgrade advantage. Now charging it. Does he have the numbers to deal with this? There are no sentries to stop those roaches. So Roach Hydra will work now, I would think. It depends if he actually has the numbers for it. Driving into White Rouse forces once again. He's taking photon cannon damage from the side. Those Hydras are chewing through the Stalkers, however. This is good aggression right here from Stefano. An additional warp in right here. Stefano may have to back off simply due to the firepower coming in. There's a Colossus, and the Hydras are going to get sniped off. Can he kill it with the Corruptors? This corrupt account is not looking good enough right now. Driven away once again, White Raw holds. Army supply count, 58 in favor of Stefano. He's able to keep this going. He's still on three bases. He's expanding to a fourth up to the top right now. He's by no means out of this. He is behind on upgrades, though. That's unfortunate. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for plus two or plus three missile. What he's got right now. What he is doing is keeping the Colossus count of White Rod down, and that is a very good thing. Now, White Rod is on four fully functional bases. Stefano looking for five right now. It's problematic over the long term if Stefano allows him to keep a hold of those bases. His defense is looking pretty solid right now. Army count is sliding in favor of Stefano. Plenty of money for White Ra, however. A big warp in will no doubt follow this one up, patrolling and making sure that he is able to deal with any threat that comes his way. There's a proxy pylon coming down. Stefano doesn't see it. He has no control of these Zelnaga watchtowers, perhaps a critical error right now. He has this one, but none of the others. That visibility would be useful, and there's that plus two missile attack upgrade, a little later than I personally would have liked. Once again, White Ra's death ball moving forward. Primarily Stalkers actually doesn't have a lot of sentries in that force by the looks of it. How many does he have? He only has three. It might be enough, but it is going to make repulsing this Roach Hydra combo a little more difficult than I would like. We'll find out. In the meantime, army count 103 to 102. It is pretty much as equal as it could be right now. Both of our guys are getting very close to maxing out. That hatchery is most likely going to go down, but here's the flanking maneuver. That is a lot of roaches swarming in right here. A lot of firepower coming in. The question is, does he have enough? That is a very good force field divide. Hydralis not able to bring their full firepower to bear right now. One Colossus brought down. And White Rock crushing this force right now. Drones charging into the line as well. Stefano is losing this battle very badly. Stefano driven out very easily by that. White Ra doesn't look like he's really in any trouble right now whatsoever. Army supply count is dipping. A lot of Corruptors on the field. Once again, White Ra is limiting his Colossus count, as far as I can tell. It's not actually just being kept down by Stefano. White Ra is limiting it deliberately, so those Corruptors can't come into play. That is wasted supply. Stefano engaging once again. He's got a reasonable concave, but a lot of firepower raining down on those roaches. He definitely doesn't have the numbers for this. He can certainly do some damage and try and hold them back, but right now he's throwing units away one after another. White Ra is very, very slowly grinding him down. He's not bothering to tech up anymore. Look at that proxy pylon and the Zealot Warping denying yet another expansion for Stefano and trying to starve Stefano out economically, doing a good job of doing just that right now. White Ra up on the field with 20 Stalkers, 5 Sentry, 1 Colossus, and no more than that. Stefano building no more Corruptors, which is definitely sensible. His upgrades are looking good, and he's actually rebuilding his army quite nicely. The problem is that, economically, he is being ground down. He is down to three bases. White Ra has four. Several hatcheries already denied by White Ra. See, those zealots cleaned up quite nicely there. Big damage done. It's going to be difficult for Stefano to expand again. The roach count is getting very nice, and he does have that plus two weapon upgrade. It will help. However, plus three is on the way for White Ra, and there's an expansion. The question is, will it be spotted? It should be. We'll find out one way or the other. Engaging right there and losing a few zealots for no good reason. Trying to get a good concave on this one right now. Brings down that one Colossus. However, what else are those Corruptors really going to do? Focuses on the second one. Those roaches are getting ripped up. 
This is really hard for Stefano to deal with right now. Tries to flank. White Rise is holding this so well, losing bare minimum units. GG, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. The second game goes to White Raw in this best of five series. We'll be right back in just a few short moments with your third game. Don't go anywhere.